Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. In Moto 14.2, we have some new mesh operations that allow us to manipulate weight maps over time. The one I'm going to use here is called Grow Weight Map, which obviously allows you to grow or shrink a weight map over time. And we're going to use that to manipulate a morph on this creepy baby face for Moto 101. So we're going to determine where the morph starts and sort of where it's going to initially start morphing and then spread to the rest of the face with this Grow Weight Map mesh operation. So we're going to morph creepy baby face into even creepier baby face. And this is what uh, five minutes in no sculpting skills gets you. So, all right, let's get started. I think um, a good way to do this is just pick the points on the face that we want the morph to happen first. So if we want the horns to grow out first, let's pick a couple vertices on the end of the horns there, like so. Whoops, grab one over here. That one's fine. Uh, the ears can grow out first and grab a vertice at the end of the ears. It, it can be, it doesn't have to be one, it could be several, it doesn't really matter. Chin can grow out, maybe these creepy eyes can grow out first or morph out first. I think that would be uh, kind of cool. Okay, so we've got some vertices selected here and then I'm just gonna go over here to my mesh operations list. I'm gonna add an operator. I'm just gonna start with the set weight. Okay, so the set weight mesh operation is going to procedurally set a weight map and because I had those vertices selected, it automatically created a selection operation right there. And those vertice indexes are uh, right here in the selection operation. And the weight map, let me just go over here to VMAP view. We'll go ahead and call this weight map, give it a name, we'll call it Grow. And you can see it right there. Each of those vertices is now a 100% weight value on the Grow weight map. You can see it right there. So now we wanna grow this obviously over time. And so, Let's add a new mesh operation, and this is the one that is now in 14.2, grow weight. So double click that guy, we have him in the mesh stack now, and I'm gonna type in the name grow into the map name that we're gonna manipulate. So it's gonna manipulate the grow weight map that was created one step below it. And you'll notice this gradient here, this lets us uh, do you know create some fall off. I'm just gonna crank that up to 100% to start and I'm going to increase my steps here. So I increase my steps to like 20, you can see that growing. It has a really hard edge, but in fact, I'm just going to go into item mode and press C for channel hall, and you can kind of see this growing. So this is, you know, obviously how this is gonna work. We're gonna animate this value, but I want a nice fall off on that. So I'm actually gonna create another key in my gradient here and, and just get a bit of a nice fall off on that wave map that we're creating. Now you could go further if you want to and add, say, a texture fall off, like a noise texture or something like that to break this up even more. But I'm not gonna do that in this little video here. We'll just stick with this. And so let's say go around frame five and I'm going to set a key here on my steps. We'll just start at zero and maybe around frame 124 or so. We'll go up to 150 and you know we've just grown this weight across the uh, creepy baby face. Looks pretty good. Now, if I come over here to my vertex maps, and here's my face morph, my demon face, and I right click on that guy and say add morph influence, it's going to add my weird demon face here. And then what I wanna do is come over here under fall offs and say add fall off, and I want a weight map fall off, right? So you just start typing in weight up here, it'll get my weight map fall off. And then I wanna select my grow map under my weight map fall off, and you're gonna see this change over here in the viewport. So right now, we do have 100% weight initially from the set weight command, and that is going to immediately morph on frame zero to 100%. So we wanna just knock that down a bit. So fortunately, we can animate these values as well. So we'll start with an initial, uh, initial weight of zero and maybe up to you know, frame 16 or 18 or 20 or so, we'll go to 100%. And that's just kinda gonna blend these in over time. So why don't I go over to my advanced view and take a look at this. So just over time, Horns grow, chin grows, ears grow, eyes get creepy, and uh, there we go. We have a creepy baby head morphing to a demon baby head. <laughs> We've controlled where it starts with this growing weight map. So we're procedurally controlling how this morph uh, works and grows over the face, which is pretty neat. And we can also use this in the shader tree if we want to. So we can go here to the shader tree, and let's just add a constant layer here. Uh, we'll give this uh, sort of a pale, pasty, baby skin color. <laughs> Duplicate that, and let's go a nice, bright, demon red color there. And we can use a weight map 
uh, here. So we'll just go to processing and vertex map texture and we'll just pick our grow map right there. And we're gonna use this as a layer mask. And so I can pop it underneath there. Now the advanced viewport tries to get this uh, working correctly, but it doesn't quite work. So I'm gonna pop open preview view over here. I'm just gonna get him framed up in the camera a little better. And you can see like as this is morphing, we're also bringing in that red color along uh, the morphed parts right, with the uh, same growing vertex map. So obviously you can use this uh, you know, procedural growing weight to uh, help with your texturing as well. If you wanna do sort of texture transitions, things like that, you can control that procedurally with the new grow weight map mesh operation. And yeah, I've had uh, about enough of this guy. So check it out. Yum, yum.